okay, honey and I are going to split a frittata this morning, but I'm not going to bake it. I'm going to do it all on the stove, and I've got purple onions and, and portobello mushrooms and peppers, and I think I'm going to throw tomatoes in here. I've got some zucchini. Um, now, I cooked up some pork sausage and set that aside, and after I you know, cook up these veggies, I'm going to add the sausage back in. And um, I've got these eggs here. I've only got two eggs and the rest like a half a cup of egg whites. And uh, there goes the sausage back in. And so I'm gonna whip up those eggs and add it on top here, I'm just incorporating these flavors together. Here go the eggs now up on top. And I'm gonna lower the heat here. And, um, and then after it's almost, oh, I'm gonna cover it up because I'm kind of like baking it in the pan. I'm using some of this light cheese, clean my fridge out and found some, yay! Just enough to put on top here, it's like a quarter cup. And this is the Trader Joe's light cheese mix. And then I'm gonna cover it back up and let that just melt into it while it cooks. Look at that, voila, it was absolutely amazing and it cooked up really well. Um, and I added a Santa Fe low-carb tortilla, just a few strawberries, and that is going to be our breakfast. Trying something new here. This might totally be a bust. Um, hubby and I are going to split a smoothie for lunch. So I have about a cup of strawberries in here. Um, probably going to be like two cups of this cashew milk in there. And then like three quarter cups of the Faye Greek nonfat yogurt. And one of these strawberry singles to go, uh, zero sugar. I don't know if this is going to be a bad idea or not, but we're going to try it. And I did put in one scoop of protein powder. Might have been better without the protein powder, but I just, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Let's see how it works. I'll try this. Honey's putting some fiber in his. <laughs> All right, guys, it looks kind of like a Nestle's Quick, and that's what I'm hoping that it's gonna taste like. Oh man, that's good. It does, it tastes like a Nestle's Quick strawberry, It's if I remember correctly. I think that if you have a problem with um, the non-fat Greek yogurt, you might actually like it in this. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna make that again, guys. Honey and I are gonna go on a date tonight and I don't have time to wash my hair, so I'm like running out of time. And um, my sister gave me these dry shampoo wipes. It's by Yes. And um, I'm thinking it's probably for a time like this. <laughs> so let's see if it works I really need to wash my hair so I think you rub it on your scalp and it's supposed to refresh you refresh your hair let's see if it I don't know what it does maybe it absorbs stuff I don't know we'll see let's see how this it works. is what it looks like inside it's just kind of a um, it's dry it feels kind of powdery so I'm gonna take that and rub it into my scalp it smells good All right, so I am just like Moving my hair and just <laughs> rubbing it in. Hi, <laughs> you've seen me like this before, huh? Rubbing it into my roots everywhere I can. And I have to tell you, it's got some sort of whatever's kind of powdery on it is really kind of like absorbing like oil that comes out of your scalp, I guess. <laughs> Not to be gross, but oh, uh, okay. Now I'm going to style it. I'm pretty sure I've been all over. And, and I have to say, it's, it feels different. I don't want to show you my bathroom because it's really messy. But not too bad. I mean, it doesn't look all greasy or anything like that. So <laughs> I'm going to wash it. I promise I just didn't have time. Uh, but yeah, it'll, it'll do for the night. It'll get me through tonight. Hmm. Those aren't bad, those little things. It's nice to have one for an emergency. All right. <laughs> we are heading out to date night. What are we doing, honey? Um, well, we're going to go have dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, but we're gonna go to Mediterranean and I love Mediterranean food so when he said that I was like yeah sure not to mention um, I get a regular old meal tonight no low carb right <laughs> so but I still have to stay in my points and actually it's gonna be over I can just tell you that but I have 23 weeklies as of this point 
And uh, so I think I've got like nine left tonight plus the 23 weeklies. They do have a really wonderful lentil soup, which I use to kind of like fill me up right at the beginning and it is delicious. Can we take a break? Okay. Now I feel there's light in everybody's face. Let me put my big head in the way here. Okay, so as some of you may know, what I'm doing is I'm staying what I call three quarter low carb. So for breakfast and lunch, I'm low carb, not high fat, just lower carb. Um, and I'm also on Weight Watcher Purple, so I maintain my purple points. Um, and so throughout the day, I have to stay in that realm. And you're now, getting your carbs from veggies. And I'm getting my carbs from veggies, Which right? Is, that's really nice. Right during the day. But now in the evening, when we have our dinner, it's an open meal for me. So my rule is that, and I'm, I'm following the, in the description bar, I kind of explained a little bit, the carbohydrate addicts diet, their rules kind of. Okay, so basically I eat whatever I want for dinner within a 60 minute period of time. And um, that is supposed to keep me from sending out more insulin so that I don't um, put away the, those pounds, more of those pounds. It starts the insulin and it caps. Right, and actually an hour is plenty of time to eat a meal and with dessert or whatever you want, right? And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> they have the best baklava where we're going, you guys. It is so good. Um, so we'll probably split some. All right, this is the place, Market Grill Cafe. Really beautiful ambiance inside. We started off with some hummus and some pitas. It was so good. Rosemary pitas. Oh, honey always gets surprised, which is great. I'm not blaming him. They were good, but they brought him before my lentil soup, so I had too many fries. Lentil soup was good. I only had half. I got eggplant parmesan. He got the meatballs, and I had like two bites of spaghetti. We split this brownie, you guys. It was Crazy. so good. Yeah. Best brownie of my life now. Um, Had anyway. some cheese in the middle. Yeah, it was so good. Hey, everybody. Okay, so recap. Really good night last night. I meant to have, I was going to make pancakes. Um, my friend Anita at Chit Chat Patty Whack, she was talking about this on Instagram, how it was National Pancake Day yesterday, and I love pancakes, so I was going to have those. But when hubby asked me if I wanted to go to Mediterranean on a date, how could I turn that down? It was like, yes, I do. First of all, a date with him. Second of all, Mediterranean food. <laughs> I can't go wrong with me on that. And so that was like a win-win. Um, now, second of all, I took, uh, when I was adding into my tracker, I wasn't sure, you know, how the restaurant made it or how many points it would be or anything like that. So I looked everything up and I took the higher point on everything. Eggplant, Parmesan, French fries. I went with the highest point um, that I could get on an item that was listed just to be on the safe side. That's why it looked like my dinner was 25 and then uh, the whole day added up to like 32 but I just wanted to be safe on my points. And yeah, that brings me down, way down on my weeklies. I'm like down to two. So I've got to have to really rack up some fit points uh, this week. But uh, but anyway, I think I get new ones this week though. New weeklies, right? It's Sunday. Um, so, but anyway, that brownie, first of all, I have to tell you about that brownie. Oh my goodness. Dish with D was talking about brownies on one of her last videos. And... Um, I told her how the best brownie I ever had was like a sugar-free brownie that I had at uh, it was the Santa Fe Buffet out here in Vegas, and it was so good, and I never saw it again, and I, I told my husband about it. He said, well, you probably never saw it again because I wonder if they mislabeled that and it wasn't sugar-free. That's why it was so good, and so you never saw it on the sugar-free table again, which is quite possible, but in any way, it, it was good. But last night's brownie, I won't go on and on about it because I don't want to trigger people, but it's the stuff dreams are made out of. And I never have been a brownie person, but oh my goodness, that brownie is the best. And I know where to get it now, but I would definitely take the points for that because, oh boy, it, had, it was like a two layer brownie with a, a layer of mascarpone cheese cannoli filling inside. Oh my goodness, crazy. Anyway. Was it worth it? Yes, it was worth it. 
And uh, will I do it again? Probably, but not real soon. <laughs> so it might be two, three weeks or more before I think we do that again. But it was great. So thanks for coming along with me on my day, you guys. I will see you in the next video. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me.